Today I'm back on the Balearic Island of Ibiza and looking forward to trying out a fairly niche operator, British Airways City Flyer, in business class back to London City Airport in East London, at the heart of London's financial district where City Flyer is based. A little bit about today's airline then. British Airways City Flyer is a wholly owned subsidiary of British Airways and operates a single fleet of Embraer 190s, one of only a handful of aircraft certified to operate out of London City because of the steep approach required. City Flyer operates to BA's own branding and product standards, but with some slight differences, particularly in its Club Europe cabin versus what you'd get flying Club Europe from BA's other main London airports, Heathrow and Gatwick. Originally, City Flyer catered to the needs of corporate flyers travelling between Europe's financial capitals, but in recent years it has branched out to a select number of leisure destinations, catering to the party needs of stressed out chinless wonders as well as flying some regional routes on weekends, as London City Airport closes on Saturday afternoons until Sunday morning. Which brings me to your Britishism of the week. Chinless wonder. A chinless wonder is defined as an ineffectual, upper-class male, typically dim-witted and of a weak or indecisive character, but with a perfectly chiselled chin, and the word wonder being an irony. Frequently one who gained his position via nepotism or other social connections, the chinless wonder is often thought to be found in the British banking industry. So that's your Britishism of the week, the chinless wonder. So back to today's flight. Having checked in on the app, it's straight through security and to a very quiet Ibiza airport lounge. The lounge itself that is included in either your business class ticket or with One World Emerald Sapphire status is very impressive. With some great views of the runway, including the arrival of my favourite Boeing 757, it's time to head over to the gate to board. Boarding is today by bus, which isn't too bad given we're on a smaller regional jet, the Embraer 190 which makes up the fleet of London-based BA City Flyer. Having snagged seat 2D, which is one of the best seats on this aircraft at the time of booking, thanks to my One World status, it's time to sit back and look forward to an excellent in-flight service. To my right is a later scheduled City Flyer London City Airport destined aircraft, and such is the popularity of this route. Today's flight being 2 hours and 19 minutes in duration, cruising at 36,000 feet, and our aircraft today is 10 years old. Just two of us in the business class cabin today, with a fairly full economy cabin behind the curtain and I'll tell you why City Flyer economy is so popular later. With a short taxi out to the runway, we're soon heading north over mainland Spain, and I'm cleaning the aircraft prior to my slap-up business class lunch. I'm really excited and looking forward to what certainly used to be a very impressive City Flyer catering service. But just before we move on to the meal, if I can just take one moment to say a huge thanks to James, Joe, Kieran, and every other Patreon supporter who helps me to bring these videos to you month in, month out. And here is my five-star slap-up grill for one. Well, not exactly. You see, flying at this time of the day, BA serves what they call brunch. Brunch is notorious as being the weakest meal sitting of the day, and as you can see, there's really not much to it. It kind of feels like BA thinks it has to serve something rather than nothing, and this is the result. It's really not great. But by contrast, if you fly on evening services with City Flyer, or to any of their Greek destinations, they do serve a proper hot meal at all times of the day. But during the day, your premium business class money buys you this, similar to BA mainline services from Heathrow or Gatwick. And with that lettuce working its way through my system faster than a virus on steroids, it's time for toilet cam. As a regional jet, it's assumed you won't spend too much time in here, so the cubicle is quite small, but clean and functional. Standing up though, isn't really an option for too long. As we begin our descent, there's just time to tell you about new blog posts on my website, momentsinthesky.com. If you're looking for flight and hotel reviews, or things to do particularly in the Canary Islands, it's all here, along with a general chit chat of travel blogs. It's growing week by week, so don't forget to subscribe to get new blogs as and when they're launched. So as I retire my now deformed spine back to my voluminous seat pitch, 
I watch as we begin our descent over northern France, and then the fantastic views over London, including the Shard, Canary Wharf, and the Millennium Dome. I'll leave you in peace to enjoy the steep and usual approach into London City Airport, but do stay tuned to get my thoughts, as summing up presented a real quandary to me on this particular service. Hello everybody and welcome unusually to Moments in the Sky Towers. So this is where I make all the magic, this is where I edit your videos. And unusually, what I wanted to do this morning was talk to you a bit more about British Airways City Flyer because I'm really torn as to which product to recommend. And let me tell you why. So on the one hand, you've got on those Embraer regional aircraft, a very nice aircraft to fly. In the front, the British Airways Club Europe cabin, and in the back, the British Airways Euro Traveller cabin. Fairly straightforward, you might think, except it's not that simple. And the reason for this video this morning is quite simply because I couldn't decide what to put in words and the voiceovers just wouldn't have done it. Because I'm very torn, as I say, as to which product to recommend. The problem with City Flyer is it's Club Europe cabin. If you fly it between nine and five, and I'll come back to why those hours are important, is quite weak. So if you fly BA City Flyer from London City, you're not getting that blocked seat next to you. So on a full flight, you will have somebody sat next to you. The meal, as you saw, could you really call it a meal? Probably not. I'm not actually sure what it is. But again, not that different to what you'd get during the day with BA from Heathrow or Gatwick, otherwise known as Mainline. And if you're flying from London City Airport, they don't have any airline lounges. You can pay your £95 to use the Executive Jet Centre, but Actually, at the time of making this video, that still wasn't open. That said, if you're flying back into London City with City Flyer, you're going to get lounge access because most airports have airline lounges. Okay. Inadvertently and unintentionally, I think, is because the City Flyer Euro Traveller cabin, the economy cabin just behind the curtain, is actually so good and I think one of the best European economy cabins there is. I think what City Flyer has done is it's actually made its Club Europe cabin, especially between nine and five, largely redundant. Now, why is that five o'clock thing important and why is nine o'clock important? For the simple reason is, and I think I said this at the start of the video, if you fly before nine o'clock, you're gonna get a hot breakfast. If you fly after five o'clock, you're gonna get a hot dinner. In between, you're gonna get not much. Now, you might come back at me and say, well, that's no different to British Airways from Gatwick or Heathrow. And you'd be right, except here's the thing. Because you don't get the blocked seat, because there are no lounges at London City, I would argue and say, save your money. Fly on City Flyers, economy cabin. Why is it so good? Well, well the difference is you still get complimentary alcohol. That's the first thing. You're not gonna get a blocked seat, but you don't get that in Club Europe. You're not gonna get lounge access from City, but you don't get that in Club Europe because there are no lounges. So really, unless you need the tier points or the luggage allowance, there's very little to say why you would fly in Club Europe on that route. And you might come back at me and say, yes, but other airlines in Europe with their smaller aircraft don't block the seat next to you. And some, some of the airlines don't have lounge access. And that's fine to a point, except think about that complimentary snack, complimentary alcohol that you're going to get in the back behind the curtain in European economy and actually pricing it up between Ibiza and London City on this flight today, it cost £43 one way in Euro Traveller, which is fabulous value for money. You can't argue with that if you needed to be in London, especially because flying into London City is so convenient, as I said. Well, I think that's got everything going for it, and I think that's a super value for money cabin. So you're gonna get a snack, 
which is probably not that worse than the Club Europe meal, if that's what you call it. I don't want to call it a meal because it wasn't. You're still not going to get the blocked seat, but then why would you? It's economy. You're going to get that complimentary bar service. So they have a slight, there's a slight difference between the alcohol offerings in economy versus Club Europe on City Flyer. But essentially, you're still going to be able to get a glass of wine, a vodka, whatever you, whiskey, whatever you drink. And it's really rare to get an alcoholic drink complimentary in economy on any airline in Europe these days. You normally have to pay some eye-watering price. Certainly at Heathrow and Gatwick with British Airways, if you're in economy, you're not going to get that complimentary drink. So that's another really good thing going in favour of City Flyer economy between nine and five. Yes, if you fly after five o'clock, you're going to get a nice meal, or if you're flying to any of the Greek destinations. So if you're flying to places like Santorini and these places, Thessaloniki, then you're going to get that full meal. So I think before 10.30 in the morning, you get full breakfast. If you fly after 10.30, all of those weaker meals like brunch and afternoon tea and stuff, they're just brushed aside. So if you're flying on those longer flights down to Greece, then you're going to get a full meal. So you don't need to worry about that. That said, even still, you know, you're still going to get the free snack. Well, you're still going to get the complimentary snack in economy. You're still going to get a complimentary drink. The seating's no different. And really, my advice would be if you check a bag in, and I never do, so it's not a problem for me. But if you do check a bag in, and if that's your only real argument for flying in Club Europe, then save your money. Just save your money because it's going to be at least £100 cheaper to fly in economy. And to check a bag in is what? £40? £35? £40? My conclusion is City Flyer business class is extremely bad value for money. And I think City Flyer economy, unintentionally, City Flyer have made their economy product one of the best in Europe. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, you saw it from today's video, there were only two of us up in Club Europe. And I just did it to try it, to see what it was like. I've done it a few times before, but I just wanted to bring it to the YouTube. I reckon, I reckon, in the long term, it makes far more sense to do the daytime flights with City Flyer, all economy. And that would be absolutely brilliant. I think it would be brilliant for the passenger and brilliant for City Flyer. Because what it would do is it would give you really good service without the expectations. And I would challenge anybody who's flown City Flyer for the first time in the last, say, 12 months to not be impressed. To not be impressed. The place where I used to work, they used to say, surprise and delight your customer. Surprise and delight. Unfortunately, the technology didn't support that with the company I worked for. Nevertheless, this is where City Flyer could surprise and delight. So people would get on board in economy and they'd think, wow, I'm getting a snack, I'm getting a complimentary drink on a nice regional airliner, because there's no doubt, you know, the Embraer 190 is a nice aircraft to fly on. So to summarise my summary, right? Don't fly City Flyer business class unless somebody else is paying the bill. But do fly Euro Traveller with City Flyer, because you'll be impressed. You'll be surprised and delighted. I think. Hmm.